I'm moving on to our uh, restoration of the painting and our Louis the Fifteenth here. He was the regent uh, around 21 years of age. Here, let's take a look. Okay, and uh, he is a McLean 50, 60, 70 years. Um, some of the gold has been pulled off in his buttons. That's going to be reapplied. It's 23 karat gold, uh, but you know, a, a fair amount of dirt. It's not not really bad and uh, possibly a little bit of loss in here and here. So there'll be a little bit of, little bit of in painting done. Um, so I'm gonna just demonstrate how we sympathetically do this. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, every, everybody, everybody thinks of these miracles when they go online and they, they go to a, a restoration shop, maybe in London or someplace, and they're selling this stuff, the clean oil paintings. And, it's, it's nothing more than a, a detergent to break down the grease on the surface, which has occurred uh, basically during the cooking processes in the house and then dirt lands and gets stuck. And then somebody who knows may come and put another uh, coat of varnish on and lock these different layers of patina in. But uh, what we want to try to do first is we want to try to clean the oil painting um, just with the, just with water and, and a, slight, uh, a slight soap. I'm going to use a lavender soap here. Um, has a lot of oil in it, a lot of olive oil. It's compatible with breaking down any grease that may be on the surface. For, for this, uh, I'm gonna use my swabs and uh, swab that I make up. I'm gonna dip the swab in, I'm gonna wring it out a bit. And uh, so I'm gonna take a, take a spot, just, just say a two, two or three inch spot. And I'm just gonna do little circles applying some pressure. And it's, let me show you some, some of the surface there. So there's dirt, it could be smoke, that's uh, environmental contaminants. You can switch to the back. So why I was getting at some of these uh, tinctures, so to speak, that they sell, these remedies for the everyday person, uh, it's, it's like it's water's been put into a gel and they're putting the water into a gel. So what I'm getting at is we could pour water on this painting and totally destroy it. So just so we have a semi-moist, uh, uh, spear here, you know, pull some cotton out and we're going to roll it around, but semi-moist. So we don't want water laying on this painting. Remember, it is cover covered and coated with oil. Okay, so we're going to just get a little bit of a dip. I'm going to wring it out so it's just, just slightly damp. And Again, the problem is if, if we go in too heavily uh, sodden type cotton wadding here, it's going to get into the pores and it's going to relieve, start relieving the paint actually from the varnish. We don't want to do any of that or from the canvas. So this is method one. Um, if you're satisfied, you can move on from that. For me, I'm not satisfied with this, but if you're doing it at home and you don't know how far to go, you have to be very, very careful. So. So we're going to try his ascot here. Let's see what we get out of his ascot. And I'm holding this on quite a radical angle. We have no idea how white white was on the ascot, but I don't think it's any dirtier. Now, this is this really cleaned up well right here. But you really got to keep note of where you've been. I'm skipping around just for the purpose of showing you how we're going to do it in the dark area and then the light area. You can do figure eights, you can do circles, but try to be consistent of everywhere you go. So that's about it. That's all we're getting out. So we're gonna let that dry on the ascot a bit. And uh, I like these swabs, and this is a kind of a proprietary solvent I mix up. And I like it because it's already on the, uh, the swab tip. I'm gonna wring it out, so to speak. And again, I'm gonna very cautiously, just a moist, tip here one by one inch see that we're getting a lot more that's dirt off the varnish that our water-based solvents not picking up this is a mineral bit uh, mineral spirits based solvent and we can finish up kind of going with the flow of the painting around like this after we've done a little bit of time there And you can see that looks like earwax. So a dirty ear in the morning.
So um, anyway, just a bit of humor there, but let's, let's put the other tip in. Let's wring it out on the side. Well, let's go back to where we just did the uh, cleaning with the water. And be very cognizant watching the, the painted surface at all times to make sure you're not pulling any of it off. And unfortunately, with all these paintings, there's no place to really practice on it. You're practicing on the real thing. And the other problem that you have in these oil paintings is, you know, we're, we're cleaning, we're essentially cleaning contaminants off of the varnish layer. Now we can take this a step further and we can remove the varnish off of the oil paint. And that's a whole nother ball of wax that gets very, very dangerous. So we're just cleaning off the top of the varnish. Remember the varnish gets a crackle or a micro crackle or we really can't see. And it's starting to fail. It's letting moisture go in through the varnish into the paint layer, into the canvas layer, into the glue layer between the paint and the canvas. So we have to be very careful here of what we're doing and our objectives. You need to set those out initially before you get started. Here, this is a cleaning of just the varnish layer. And we're gonna put a, a layer of satin, um, satin oil painting varnish on this. And we'll go over that at our next stopping point once this is clean. And we always start with the most sympathetic of uh, solvents, which is the water-based, quote, detergent, if you wanna use it that way, soap-based. And now we're moving up into a, a mineral spirits type thing. And there's others above this. There's actually enzymes that help clean some of these areas. So that's the amount of dirt you're getting. Very minimal stuff. And, and yes, it does, it takes a long time. To do this painting properly, just cleaning the varnish surface, you're probably gonna put six, seven hours into it. And there'll be some infilling or in-painting rather along the way. So again, we're just moving around his ascot here. And remember the first couple strokes you go by, you're, you're just kind of maybe you're softening the surface of the dirt. And then you come back again and you start to actually take some of it off. So it's a process. You just don't wipe off dirt the first pass. It could be the third or fourth pass. But then you got to be cognizant of are you softening up the varnish with whatever methodology you're using. So you have to be very, very cognizant at all times. And at many times you're going to be working under magnification. So we're not anywhere near going too far here. So um, it's just showing you, you know, the possibilities of, uh, you know, possibly a homeowner dealing with his paintings. So again, back to the, uh, the formula that's being sold by, you know, a couple of restoration shops, particularly in England, is it's more of a gel and the gel will contain the water and the water will sit on top of the painting, essentially the wetness against the surface of the varnish and relieve what other environmental contaminants are to be relieved just from water. Um, so you can't go too far. You can't put too much moisture to go into the painting. So that's a great thing. But yet you're kind of limited to the amount of effect you can have with a, with a methodology like that. So it's very limited. It's, let's call it for the happy homeowner. That's primarily what it is. So I think, you know, this little, this little bit we're getting on our swabs is actually lightening this ascot up considerably. Uh, considerably to me, maybe 10, 12%, you know, that's not paint, that's, that's environmental dirt. And you want to keep rolling your, uh, keep rolling your swab to get to a more of a dirt free area. And in the end, you know, according to which way the, uh, the area you're working on, you know, with his hair, with uh, Louis XV's hair, we want to do circular motions up here. Here, we want to finish up, finish up by doing long motions. So between the combination of the two, you shouldn't miss or skip anything. And that's one of the keys here. So turn your swab 15 degrees over the whole thing. Turn it again. Let's hit it on the backstroke. And these swabs are so inexpensive, there's no use to start putting the, a dirty swab over the same area. And you really don't know if you're putting dirt back onto the, uh, to the surface of the painting. So it, it makes no sense. So just get rid of it and go to another, another swab. 
And sometimes again, as the, uh, the spirits are coming over this a second time, it's actually loosening up a lot more of the, the surface dirt uh, much quicker. Again, to, to those out there, it may seem like this is not a lot, but you can already see this is maybe 10, 12, maybe 15% cleaner as Ascot. So it's, uh, it's quite hitting to me and uh, quite notable. So I think, uh, I think we'll put a hold on it today and we'll pick this up tomorrow, uh, finishing the cleaning of the surface of this uh, Louis the 15th period painting from around 1725, we believe it is. And we're gonna go interdisperse back and forth with the, uh, um, with the frame, the frame that it came in. There's a lot of work to be done on that. There's a cleaning process first, the disassembly, and uh, a lot of the ornamentation is put, up, put back on. It's come off back on at the wrong places. That has to come off. So a lot of crude structural work is going to have to do with this, this, uh, you know, the frame, this gilded frame that this was once in. So, okay, well let's let's move on to the uh, frame.